Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Gotcha. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Blessings to you all and Merry Christmas. I know the rest of the world has moved on and they're already thinking about uh, not flying. But uh, <laughs> within the community of Christ, we celebrate his coming into the world, the nativity, for 12 days and we continue. In this season of Christmas, we pray you are blessed in your lives, in your family. Uh, I have brought some of my family with me uh, today and I'm thankful for the music that they will offer. We'll have a couple of special numbers, uh, but we'll be all have lots of opportunity to sing, because how often do we get to sing those beautiful Christmas hymns? And so that is much of what our service will be today. We will sing, we will hear the Christmas story from the prophets who foretold it right through the coming of Jesus and into what that can mean as we live by his love. So may you be blessed in worship today. Let's get it started. <laughs> I invite you to rise. We will have the lighting of our Advent wreath, and we have our Advent song to guide us through. Let us sing together. Light a candle, bright and tall. <coughs> five verses, all five. We're singing today. <laughs> <laughs> shines light into the world. By day and night he shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty. That the world may see the justice and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent Jesus. So that all who believe in him may not perish but have eternal life. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song, a song of hope, joy, and peace around the world. Therefore, may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, sent from heaven above, be with you all. And also with you. Let us commit our hearts and our voices to our prayer for today. Would you find printed once again there? Take a moment to read those words so they are in your heart 
as we bring them to God with our lips. Let us pray. Gracious God of heaven and earth, you have thrown a lifeline to us in our darkness, a beam of light that shines through Jesus. Though born in a manger, he is the firstborn of creation. Though crucified on a cross, he is the Lord of life. Fill us with the wonder and joy of his presence in the world and in our hearts. Amen. Amen. May God make it so. I invite you to be seated and let us now turn to the story as we hear it begun in the prophet Isaiah. Just to let you know our pattern, we will hear a reading, we will sing a song. I invite you to remain seated throughout all of that, but stay present in your minds and in your hearts. And we begin with the prophet Isaiah, the 60th chapter. Arise, shine, for your light has come, come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes, and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels will cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah, and all those from Sheba shall come, and they shall bring gold and frankincense, and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. He invites us to come. Let's do so in song as we say, O oh, come, all ye faithful.
continues as we listen now to the words of the prophet Micah, taken from the fifth chapter. Micah writes, But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the very ends of the earth, for he shall be the one of peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I've already made reference that some of the tribes have arrived. We hear about calling your sons and your daughters, and they have come forward. I can give you just a little uh, background as to why so many are here. This Yesterday, we were able to celebrate my parents' 65th anniversary. That was a very special blessing and a gift uh, to uh, be together in that way. Uh, we have always enjoyed music in our home, and so we pray that you will be blessed as we bring forward a special number at this time. Uh, one of my father's favorites, I think. Uh, and so I will invite everyone who's going to sing to come forward. I think we can find room for everyone up here. And we're going to bring forward once in Royal David's City.
catch a glimpse and an aspect of that. I really did to be together and all to be blessed with one another's company. And we give thanks for the family of God. Uh, now we move into the coming of our Savior. We hear the beginnings of the Christmas story as recorded in the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter. And Luke records it in this way. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth. And she laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them at the inn. In that same region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God made us. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem. Let us see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, for it had been just as they had been told. The word of the Lord. Thank you to God. God. We sing together, Away in a Manger. <laughs>
others from distant lands came to know this one who was born the king. We hear from Matthew chapter 2. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. <laughs> then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word also, so that I may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. And there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and they paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I'll give you one more verse. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us sing their story as we join our hearts together <coughs> in We Three Kings. <coughs> Where is my 
Not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent his Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him, and he in us, because he has given of us of his Spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. The word of the Lord. Yes. Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Let us sing together. He came down. <laughs>
Corey, Gina, Peter, Flora, Isla, Hammerstocks from Edmonton. Thank you for bringing us the gift of music. This time we will bring our gifts forward through the collection of the offering. Uh, I'll ask for a couple of volunteers. I don't know, some from within the family want to give a hand. Ross, go too. <laughs> Why not? Uh, as we give thanks to God through the collection of the offering, you are invited to join your voices together in our offertory song. It is you, loving God, who lights our path with truth. Your word, Jesus, is truth. In his light, draw all to the manger. Together in wonder with the shepherds. In his light, draw all to the manger. To kneel in reverence with the wise ones. In his light, draw all to the manger. To sing for joy with the angels. In the brightness of his life, cast away the darkness of injustice, poverty, and hunger in the world. It is you, loving God, who meets us on our way. In the light of Jesus, show the world the way of life. Amen. And now, as he has taught us, we are bold to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, children of God, I invite you to enter into God's blessing and to walk in it each and every day. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And with the community, please be seated as we lift up a couple of announcements as we draw to a conclusion. Thank you for being here today. I know the weather has not been uh, accommodating, at least in terms of snow, so thank you for trudging through it all. Uh, keep an eye out just to make sure all vehicles actually get out of here, maybe after worship. Uh, coffee is on. If you have a moment to have a cup after worship, you're welcome to join together. Happy New Year to all of you. We pray blessings for this 2023. And whatever it may bring to you, know that the Lord is walking closely with you in and through it all, and may you know God's presence. Thank you to my family for some special numbers today, uh, and blessings to some who will be on their way traveling, safe travels to all. Uh, and uh, just a couple of announcements to Trinity Community. This coming Saturday, if you are able to come, 
we are going to undeck the halls. Uh, the Christmas season comes to a conclusion on the day of Epiphany, and, uh, and we move into a new uh, portion of the church here. So we're not just going to have you come here and do work, though. Come and have some pizza after we've taken everything down, and then we're going to watch a, a movie called The Star. It's a, a wonderful uh, cartoon about the, the animals making their way to the manger. I won't give the ending away. Uh, but come and be a part of all of that next Saturday, starting at 4.30. I'll put a post out on Facebook, but uh, keep that in mind uh, and bring some little ones and we hope it can be a good day together. That's about the only announcement I think I want to lift up. Uh, we always lift up uh, those who are celebrating this coming week uh, in Saskatchewan. Nobody gets married in the first week of January, so I don't have any anniversaries to lift up. It's probably not true, uh, but uh, I have none to lift up. Nobody from our family uh, anniversaries. We had one yesterday. Uh, I only have one birthday from within Trinity, and that's Vanessa Buchholz, but uh, we've had birthdays in very recent time from within our family. Uh, I know Aaliyah uh, and Corey, we go back a week or so, right? And uh, Anna Hendrickson and Dina. I'm getting there. Give me a <laughs> got uh, four or five. So anyways, everybody who celebrates birthdays recently or in the week to come, I invite you to join your voices together, and let's wish them all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear friends, may Jesus bless you. Amen, may Jesus bless us all. We take that into this world, let's rise and proclaim that as we conclude with, go, tell it on the mountain. Blessing be upon you all. Our worship is concluded. Go in peace. Serve the Lord.